Spending four hours in a box together every day can make you say crazy things. <laughs> Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. So Aaron Rodgers back in the news and not for football again. Uh, he's apparently got himself a new woman. She goes by the name. Get ready for this. Blue of Earth. B L U. Second word of. Third word Earth. She's apparently oh, a witch hippie. and a medicine woman. <laughs> and I think Aaron Rodgers just does this stuff to mess with the media. I think that's it. I don't think he's real. I don't know. He's probably just met some girl named Allison. Her name is Allison Johnson. And uh, he's like, okay, we're going to be in public. You're going to be blue of earth. You're going to be... They probably got all messed up and said you're going to be a medicine woman and a witch and we're going to call you blue of earth because <laughs> i feel like he gets such a kick out of all the drama that is surrounded by who he yes. is dating and who they are and i don't know why it's such a big deal like the last girl uh the one from the tv show i forget the name of it now the series uh was it 13 reasons why or or big little lies or i can't one of the two i think it was big little lies and um and you know they did their thing, and then there was a big deal, and they broke up, and then, but they didn't break up, and so. But I believe their politics were different, right? And that's why uh, they they were doomed from the get go. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I'm just looking at pictures of Blue of Earth, and um, she is she is denied being a witch. Um, oh, she has. She's yeah. She says that her. Uh, she went to Instagram and, and she said, um, listen, my name is Blue and uh, not Blue of Earth. And then she put a face palm emoji. And she says, I do not identify as a witch, a crying emoji. And then y'all are hilarious. That's what she says. But she didn't look like a witch. Um, nope. She does have blue hair. So maybe that's where she gets her name, Blue of Earth. Where, where or did, Blue, oh, I guess. I'm, oh, I'm looking it's at a picture of with blonde hair. Oh, okay. Well, I, listen, the blue's got to start somewhere. It, it doesn't come naturally. That could be photoshopped. Right? That could be photoshopped. That's all I'm saying. I think if anything, she's had an enhancement in her chest. I would say that's more likely to be the enhanced part of Blue of Earth than her blue hair. She goes by the Instagram handle Blue of Earth. Oh, I see. Um, so that's why people are calling her that? I guess well, I got to check her out on Instagram and see what she's all about then. And remember, it's Blue you, of Earth on Instagram. Yeah, if, yeah. it's B L U, uh, no E. I can see why. He, you know, she's attractive, so I mean, I can see why he would uh, go towards that. It looks like she's a singer of some sort too. Okay, because she's playing guitars in her Instagram and. Oh, uh, man, there's all kinds of stuff going on here with blue. Do you know how she spells it on Instagram? Is it it's blue? A, B-L-U. B-L-U. Okay. I can't, she's not coming up. Uh, she blocked her results. B-L-U-O-F, Earth. Uh, you know what the damn phone did? It put the E on the end of it because it mm -hmm. thinks it's smarter than it, me. And it probably is. It but, is. But it, it is but smarter than you. It is probably smarter than me. But in this case. Yeah, she's only got blue hair in some of her of her photos. Um in others, she definitely does not have a blue hair, but she's just a hippie, and she's an attractive hippie, so she's living the, the good life. I mean, she's living the life of like you know, going out and just wandering. If you're an attractive hippie, you can probably just wander. Yeah, she's There's a host of a, of a podcast. By capital the way. there. Uh, she no, has okay. one million downloads. She's also the co-founder of um, Floorsense dot Earth. And, uh, yeah, so that's what she does. She's a podcast. Safe to say a podcast I will not be listening to. Yeah. You sure Hippie you don't podcast, want to check it out? It's called... Uh... I don't want to check out the Blue of Earth uh, podcast. Okay. All right. Then I won't even tell you about it. At one point in time, uh, according to her Instagram feed, she was bald of Earth because she did not have any hair. She cut it all off. Oh, she went Britney Spears on us. Shaved it off. Oh, there she is. Mm -hmm. There she is bald. Mm -hmm. Look at that. 
And then this she has okay. Well, anyways, that's the new Aaron Rodgers thing. That's that's the new drama. By the way, he said he's going to retire with the Same. Packers. If you want to know anything about Aaron Rodgers and football, um, to me, I'm more interested in that. Disappointed too. It's safe to say that Blue of Earth is is likely a rebound. <laughs> yeah, somebody he met at a bar and he he slept yeah. with her and he's like, "Oh, you're pretty good at this, so let's hang out for I'm a while." Try. I'm going to try this hippie thing for a while. Careful. You don't want to learn from this. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOZ. So I guess NASA is ready to start looking for aliens. At this point, they're starting to kind of be forgotten about, right? I mean, we had the, the space program. They kind of dropped out of it. I don't know what NASA's doing now. Well, apparently they're ready to start looking for UFOs. And they don't care that their reputation may be questioned because they're looking for something that a lot of people don't believe in. But um, I don't, I, an unidentified flying object to me doesn't necessarily mean that it's some sort of, you know, green Martian that's going to come down here and, and zap us or take us or probe us or whatever the hell people think they do. And listen, I'm not judging anybody who says that they've seen something. I'm not even judging the people that say they've been abducted by aliens because I'm sure in their mind, they really, truly believe they have been. I know you give me a hard time. What's that? The clinical. I want to see the clinical record of what substances they were putting in their bodies when you know like like i want to know have you been taking any hallucinogens when somebody says yeah i was abducted by aliens let me ask you this where are you at with the all these different things i know you don't believe in the bigfoot or the sasquatch you think that's i don't believe totally, in any of it you you think it's all made up you don't believe you believe, ghosts do you believe that there could UFOs. be other life Somewhere in our universe are some of the many, I don't know, thousands of other universes universe. that there are out there. So you believe not that... in our universe because nothing could be sustained in our universe because we're the only ones that are, um, you know, okay. close enough. What about other sun. universes? Do you believe there could be other I think life forms? A possibility. That I be- think there's a possibility, but other universes are so far away that we'll never know. Well, because it but, what, you know, but so you don't believe here. you don't believe that it's possible that another life form in another universe has technology to be able to fly over to our planet and check us out. I guess I'm more yes. into a I'm open minded to certain things. I don't know. I don't know. We don't even know. It's you know, you think about space and it goes on forever. Right. I mean, we're used to being on a planet that we can't leave a road that eventually mm-hmm. will end or circle around. I mean. When you think about space, it just goes on forever. I mean, that's it's we can't even comprehend that. So I can't say, well, there's probably not something. I don't know. I've never seen anything. I've never seen a Bigfoot, but I'm open to the fact that it could be from everything that I've read and seen that's done. That sure, it's very possible. All that fiction, all that fiction you've been reading. No, it's not fiction at all. These are scientists. These are yeah, they're, these are theories. That this was something that, everybody's a friggin' scientist nowadays. Come on. Um, all right. <laughs> yeah. We're not talking about vaccines right you now. Go to, Jeff. You, you go to you go you go to you go to uh, 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 college and and you get a degree. And then next thing you know that oh I'm a scientist because I'm doing research. Well, do research. You're just doing work. Yeah. At ghosts. That's a really tough one for me to swallow. You know, my, my grandpa died. My mom thought she felt his presence in the room. And my aunt said she saw him driving a vehicle down the road. He turned and looked at her. But I think this could be all things that you're going through because of the emotions of losing somebody that's very close to you. I, you know, I, I know they have ghost shows and things move. I think there's energy that we can't explain. I think there's a lot of things about this planet that we don't quite understand but, you know, to go out there and say, yeah, I be, but until I see a ghost, a Bigfoot or an alien, I'll be open to it. I'm not going to say, no, I'm not that naive. I'm not that stupid to say just because I haven't seen something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Now, show me some evidence. Uh, but I don't I don't know. So anyways, NASA's getting into this. 
I don't know where the money's coming from. Do they still get government grants? I have no idea. See, that's the thing. That, and that's the thing. And, and coming up in, in Dumbass of the Day, I'm going to show you the reason. This is, you know what I do believe in, Jeremy? I believe in reading the tea leaves. That's what I believe in, okay? And there's another headline that's coming out of NASA that's not getting as much of attention because they're not on the pursuit for aliens, but what they're on the pursuit of is huge amounts of bureaucracy money that can be allocated to them all for one excuse one excuse one excuse and a dumbass of the day i will highlight why i'll tell you I'll, spoiler alert nasa is going to be dumbass of the day today <laughs> <laughs> all right i will get to it coming up why. yeah The Master of the Day brought to you by California Diesel and RV. If it runs on diesel, they're your people. That means you got a diesel pickup, they can work on it. You got an RV that runs on diesel? Yeah, give them a call. Stop by and see them. You got fleet vehicles that run on diesel? Then they're your people. If it runs on diesel, they're your people. They are California Diesel and RV. How pathetic can some people be? My favorite conspiracy theory is the belief that we didn't land on the moon, that we faked the moon mission. Which I like because it's 40 years ago and it still drives them crazy. They're furious. They say, we never landed on the moon. It's a conspiracy. Then it goes all the way to the top. <laughs> all right, let's say that, that, that we did fake it. Who cares? <laughs> like, what's the craziest thing that happened? Like, maybe we ticked off the Russians. Maybe Neil Armstrong got a few more times. <laughs> Let's face it, come closing time, that moon credit really gets your foot in the door. Uh, in fact, that's the only reason that you could get mad. Like if Neil Armstrong had sex with your girlfriend, then you could dissect the footage and be like, honey, look at this. Look at this. The flag moves. He puts the flag on the moon, but it's waving and it's moving. But it, and you can't, there's no stars in the picture. You can't see any stars. You know why? Because you're a because I go out of town for three days. Dumbass of the day. 93.3 KZOZ. Um, NASA wants to, in, in addition to looking for aliens, like you mentioned earlier, they want to return to the moon. They wanted to return to the moon soon, but um, now they are asking for... 3.5 billion dollars from the United States government and this is for spacesuits. They need spacesuits to go to the moon and walk around. Um, so they've contracted two companies, Axiom Space and Collins Aerospace, to provide spacesuit services. Um, these spacesuit services are going to cost 3.5 billion dollars. Oh my now, I lord. Wanna know, I want to know how much the spacesuits that Neil Armstrong was wearing. <laughs> How <laughs> much do those cost? Those seem to be pretty, uh, pretty good. They say they need new ones because we they had to suspend their spacewalks at the International Space Station back in 2013 because water started leaking into the helmet of an astronaut that was part of the European Space Agency. And this was the second time that uh, Helmet started leaking water when he was doing uh, spacewalk. Okay. I don't know. Where's this like, water coming from? The, uh, is there a rain cloud up there? I mean, it's just Probably not 1969. It's probably not 1969. Exactly. I, but in 2013, they couldn't pull it off. 1969, they were able to pull it off. What's going on here with the, with the, with the walking on the moon and all that stuff and the spacewalks? My question Did is, I just don't space understand. Suit yeah, I don't, technology take a step back in that time. Well, they obviously want to make something a little better, a little safer. I get all that. Uh, let's just say they did land. Um, why, why, why do we need to go back? I mean, have we not figured out enough? I mean, uh, I don't know. It just seems like I don't understand why we're constantly looking to, and maybe this is somebody with more of a scientific mind could explain it to us, why we're building spaceships to go to Mars and all this other kind of stuff. It's like, listen, we can't live on Mars. And if you ever think that we can, that, that you're a damn fool. 
There's, I mean, what kind of progress in technology? It, I'm, how are we going to live on a planet that doesn't well, have even, oxygen, that doesn't have water? And how we, I mean, we're ju- why can't we just take care of, we've already got a planet that creates oxygen and water. We have it. Yes, I understand that we're, you know, as a human race, we're destroying this or we're damaging it. But why don't we focus on turning that around and staying on the planet that gives us oxygen and water versus going to one that doesn't even have that and trying to start over? Like, that's what I don't understand. Does it make any sense to you? Wouldn't it be easier to just kind of fix some of the stuff that we're doing now to preserve this planet instead of trying to go recreate the wheel on Mars? Which is, yeah. what, what does it take, a year I, to I get agree. there? I, it's just none yeah. of that makes sense to me. It's all BS. It's all bureaucratic BS. Well, and it's a money grab. Uh, yeah. this, this company, Axiom Space, um, that is a entrepreneurial upstart, has been granted the $3.5 billion to develop the EVA spacesuit. The EVA spacesuit is the next version of the spacesuit that um, NASA has been trying to develop for the past 15 years. So how much has been spent in NASA dollars <laughs> for the past 15 years? And then NASA's like, we can't figure it out. we got to get somebody else on the, on the outside to do it. Let's go to this upstart company that's going to do it. And we'll give them $3.5 billion to do so, so we can go walk around on the moon. Now, the first astronauts that walked around on the moon said that um, the lunar dust got into their spacesuits, and it smelled like burnt charcoal and posed a health hazard to those astronauts um, once they returned to the lunar m- module with their moon suits the dust would get inside the Apollo aircraft and um, it make it hard to breathe in there. So then my question for you is, Mr. Uh, Why are we even trying to colonize Mars? Why are we even trying to mess around with the moon? If the space dust and the lunar space dust is so bad, it's, it's just, it's just a task that is too big to accomplish. Why not we, like you say, refocus our energy to fixing the problems where we have it instead of like 3.5 billion probably could go a long ways in developing other things here like how about this um you've been talking about this atmospheric river that's been just pummeling the northwest and i've been talking about 106 degree temperatures that is that is drying out my lawn and everything else here on the central coast especially on the inland areas of the special, uh, central coast for the past few days. Um, why don't we take $3.5 billion and re- move some water around yeah. on, in the United States? Yeah, no, I get I, it. I, $3.5 billion would probably be great, and there would be some contractor that'd be like, yeah, I could do it for $3.5 billion. We need billion. a scientific mind to convince us otherwise, but it's like taking a vehicle that runs, right? You've got a vehicle that runs. Yeah, it's getting older in miles. You're going to have to replace the tires. Uh, you may have to put, uh, I don't know, a new camel. I, I don't know, whatever. You're going to have to do some work to it. Or I could just give you air right over here and say, here you go. S- give me your car. We're going to we're going to get rid of that and now you can just start over here from scratch. You're going to have to buy all the parts you need to build a car and then you're going to have to figure out how to put it together and get it to run and maintain it. Then wouldn't that be easier just to keep the car you have and maintain it to where, you know, you don't have to start from scratch and learn how to build a car cuz you've yep. never built a car before. Mm-hmm. We've never built a planet before that was already here. Yeah, none of Did it makes sense. Did you hear the uh- in a related note yesterday that uh, there was a, a electric truck company that was building cargo vans and stuff for uh, shipping purposes, they went belly up yesterday. It was called Electric Last Mile Solutions. Uh, they realized that it was not cost effective to build their trucks for moving goods and services across the country because they'd have to charge for too long yeah. in order to make it too far. And they went belly up yesterday. Um, just four months after their CEO and chairman resigned, they saw the writing on the wall. <laughs> it's, it's, Unfortunately, it's we all this, all we learned this the money hard being way. moved around for yeah. no reason. We learned the hard for way. No reason for utter failure. Just all this money. It's ridiculous. Congratulations, NASA. You, and they've been working on it for fifteen years. They can't. They can't get it. So they're like, okay, well, let's throw more money at it. It's like, do we have to go back to the moon? 
And do the we, thing is, this, this is taxpayer dollars, right? They're getting grants. They're getting money from the oh, government. Yeah. This, mm-hmm. this, I don't care if it started there, but it all ends up coming from there. And this deficit that we have, the highest that we've ever had, uh, it's just... And when we have so we real problems in this country, we have problems in this country that we need to look at immediately. Yeah, this is this is where we're sending our dollars. I wonder how much baby formula. Five billion dollars for a spacesuit? Come on. Yeah, I wonder how much baby formula would buy from other countries for three point five billion dollars. Congratulations to NASA and this government bureaucracy. You're Jeff and Jeremy. Dumbass of the day. It's Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOZ. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.